Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Holy Cross and the Joe Duffy Gymnasium here for this evening's edition of the Memorial Game between the Luigi Panthers and the Holy Cross Crusaders. At court level right now introducing the team lineups for both Rigi and Holy Cross. We'll be joining Chaplain Nicholas Kotman for the opening prayer. Court side now for the singing of the national anthem will be Isla Joyce. Fantastic rendition of the National Anthem by Isla Joyce. For those who are just tuning in here, we'll give you a quick recap of uh, the history of the Memorial Game. 35 years ago, the Memorial was established by Paul Halligan, who was at the time a football and basketball coach at Rigi. Paul created the Memorial for the two schools, Holy Cross and Rigi, to come together in competition while raising money and awareness for cancer. Paul founded the games in honor of his friend, Peter Carty, who was a friend and classmate and who had passed away from a rare form of cancer at the age of 23. Thirteen years later, Paul Halligan was taken by the same cancer that took his friend years prior. Both men dedicated time to help out with the school communities and the memorial is a tribute to both of them. Thank you so much for attending and supporting online via the live stream and supporting the fight against cancer. To date, this event has raised over $410,000, which has been donated to research and treatment of this devastating disease. And in just a moment here, folks, we will be beginning our tip-off. Starting lineups for the Holy Cross Crusaders, with number seven, Brock Hamilton, number 21, Quinn Saganowich, number 30, Landon Mackey, number 13, Keith McCarthy, and number 8, Sam Tan. For Rigi, starting lineup, number 12, Cameron Bransfield, number 10, Tolu Adipapo, number 11, Lagan Lamb, number 2, Riley Berry, and we're off to a hot stop start here on the tip, that's a quick foul. 
by Rigi. That'll be number 21, Quinn Saganowicz heading the line for the Crusaders. Saganowicz can't get either free throw to fall. That's out of Papo with the rebound for Rigi. Rigi working the ball around on the perimeter. Out of Papo baseline. Kicks it back out. Back in the corner out of Papo. Kaigi at the top. Over to Barry. Lamb with the ball now for Rigi. Six seconds on the shot clock. Lamb driving left. Mid-range shot from the top of the key. Lamb banks that one in off the glass and gets it to fall. And Rigi is the first on the board here tonight in this junior game. Holy Cross inbounding on the end line after a brief stoppage there by one of the referees. Sam Tan bringing the ball up for the Crusaders. Holy Cross. Holy Cross looking to break Rigi's half-court trap. They get the ball to the corner. Well defended by number 11. That's Lagan Lamb with the block. He's looking to go coast to coast the other way and he falls down. Holy Cross now. This is Quinn Saganowicz up with the right hand. Can't get it to fall, but... And the referee is blowing the whistle and he's saying that the basket is good. He called for a cylinder interference. Something that you rarely see in a junior basketball game, but some fantastic athletes on the court here tonight. And confirmation from the referees, the basket is good and it'll be Rigi Ball inbounding on the end line. Here's number five, Kian Kiyagi with the ball for Rigi. Bransfield to Barry. Back to Kiyagi. Here's Lamb with it. He kicks it out to the corner. That's Barry with a three point attempt, and he gets that one to fall. Terrific stroke from Barry. Oh, and that's a travel violation called against Quinn Saganowich as Holy Cross is looking to move the ball up the court. Coach Trevor, we are not too happy with that one. Score stands at 5-2 to two with 6 minutes 31 seconds here in the first quarter. 5-2 to two for Rigi. And this game being played tonight at the Joe Duffy Gymnasium here at Holy Cross on Woodbine Avenue. And the ball's inbounded. Lamb with it. Over to Kiyagi at the top of the key. Bransfield over to Barry. Barry kicks it to the corner. Here's Kiyagi for three. Looking to repeat Barry's shot from a moment ago, but he can't get that to fall. Holy Cross moving the ball up. Quinn Saganowicz down low for Holy Cross. Saganowicz seems to be getting some pretty good position on the court underneath the basket here. Holy Cross coming out in a, in a full court press of their own, applying some pressure to Rigi, who couldn't get the ball across the half court line to play a little bit of offense. Stepping in the line here for Holy Cross. That's number 13, Keith McCarthy. Basket's good. Keith will shoot one from the line. And with that, Holy Cross extends their lead to two points in the early going here. This is Bransfield inbounding for Rigi. They get into the corner, but Holy Cross is really turning the screws on Rigi with a full court press. Lamb to Adipapo, and Adipapo finishes on the right side of the bucket. And Rigi ties this game up at seven apiece. Rigi in, sitting in a half-court trap here, trying to lull Holy Cross in. But Holy Cross doing a great job to break that press. 
finding an open Crusader underneath the basket. That was Landon Mackey for two. Both teams really looking to apply some defensive pressure here in the game. That's Bransfield throwing the ball up the court to Barry. Barry finds Lamb once more looking underneath the basket for Adabapo, but he can't make that work. Sam Tan up to Brock Hamilton. Hamilton's blocked by Lamb. And Kiagi now with it for Rigi. Adipapo on the wing. He's looking for Lamb. Lamb knifing his way through the Holy Cross defense. Barry for three, and that is his second three-pointer of the night. That is Riley Barry with the sweet stroke from deep. Brock Hamilton with it for Holy Cross. Lamb gets a fingertip on it but can't control it. And that one rolls away from him out of bounds. This will be a Holy Cross ball inbounding on the end line. Sam Tan to inbound for Holy Cross. Sam Tan with a deep inbound pass right underneath the net. Rigi, a little bit of difficulty defending that one. But well blocked by Lamb. Lamb using his long reach to block and deflect shots down low for Rigi today. He's been a great, great defender for Rigi so far in this game. Here's Kiagi with it on the wing. Looking to drive right. Kicks it to Adipapo and he'll take, he'll take a shot from three. And that one just off the mark. Sam Tan deciding to slow things down here for the Crusaders. Hamilton with it on the wing. That's Quinn Saganowich in the corner for an undefended three. He was absolutely wide open in the corner there. Rigi opting to sit back in a little bit of a zone defense on that one. Here's Adabapo over to Barry. And we've got an offensive foul called on the floor against the Panthers. This ball will turn over to the Crusaders as a couple of players on the court seem to be tying their shoes at the same time here. The referees opt to give them an opportunity to do that before continuing with the game. That's Keith McCarthy inbounding to Sam Tan. Rigi continuing to sit in this half court zone defense. Barry lunges for it. He couldn't get it. The ball goes deep to Hamilton. And that one is waved off. Referee calling a travel. Looks like Hamilton might have scooched his feet a few too many times before putting that one up. This will be a sideline inbound for the Panthers. Since the basket's been waved off, this is Bransfield to inbound. And Holy Cross still looking to apply that full court zone defense pressure against the Panthers. And just like that, that's Kiagi being called for a travel. Sideline inbound to the Crusaders. Lining up in a line formation here. Rigi still sitting back in his own. Sam Tan steps into a three. And that one hits the front iron. A little bit short. A little bit of a skirmish down low. Lamb with his third block of the evening for Rigi. Using that terrific length of his and that great vertical. Here's Lamb with it. Dribble handoff in the corner. Kiagi driving right. Here's Barry. Adipapo. And unfortunately, for Rigi, that is. Travel violation called against Adipapo. Three minutes and 12 seconds here in the first quarter for those who are viewing on the live stream. Score sits at 10 to 9. Rigi with a one point advantage in this one so far in the first quarter in this year's edition of the Memorial Game between the Holy Cross Crusaders and the Rigi Panthers. Ball goes down low to McCarthy. He kicks it out to Sam Tan. Sam Tan just off the mark on that three, but McCarthy working down low with a good step through. And the follow by Quinn Saganowich with some tenacious intensity on the boards, grabbing that one down for the Crusaders and then going right up strong. And he's fouled on that play, and he'll step to the line to see if he can make this a three-point play the old-fashioned way.
Saganowicz makes good on that attempt from the free throw line. Holy Cross extends their lead to two with two minutes and 50 seconds here in the first quarter. That ball last touched by Holy Cross. Rigi to inbound again. And these Holy Cross players, having not seen many substitutions yet so far in this game, continue to sit in a full court press. And it shows, looks like they're getting a little bit tired as Bransfield slices through the Holy Cross defense. And he hits a short floater in the middle of the key. Holy Cross working the ball back and forth between McCarthy and Sam Tan to break down this zone trap by the Panthers. Saganowicz looking inside, finds McCarthy. McCarthy sitting at the top of the key, kicks it to Hamilton. Hamilton looking inside. Back to McCarthy. The Crusaders working the ball around really well. Sam Tan looking to see if he can make good from the same spot he shot from last time. And that one's still off the mark. And two Panthers come down with that one. Here is Kiyagi with the ball. Adepapo. Barry. Barry looking inside back to Adepapo. A little bit of a two-man game on the wing for Rigi there. Quinn Saganowicz in the corner. Sam Tan looking inside. That's number 30, Landon Mackey. And that's McCarthy finishing strong with a nice Euro step to the basket. And this Crusaders defense is relentless, but broken down well by Barry to find... Find Lamb. And Lamb couldn't get that left-hander to finish. Quinn, Quinn Saganowicz getting a little bit carried away there. Offensive foul. Sagan. And that's Quinn Saganowicz. After the offensive foul, Rigi to inbound on the end line. That was number 22, Matthew Song, into the game now for the Panthers. Kiyagi passes one up, finds Adepapo in the corner. Kiyagi running the offense in that right corner. And Adepapo managed to sneak by the baseline and get up a shot, but he can't finish. Barry out for three. And that'll be the first three-point miss for Barry this evening. Here is Kiyagi back into that right corner to Adepapo. Got an offensive foul being called against the Panthers. The ball will return to the Crusaders here with 41 seconds left in the first quarter. The Holy Cross Crusaders lead the Rigi Panthers by a score of 14 to 12. Sam Tan continuing to dribble in the right corner. Quinn Saganovic, skip pass. And that three-pointer is off the mark by number 35, Rex Dawson. Saganovic follows it up. And that one hits the right iron. Here is Kiyagi with it for the Panthers. Over to Lamb, to Adepapo. This is Matthew Song with it for the Panthers. Into the corner for Barry. Barry with a step back. And Barry gets a little bit too much air under that one as he sails that one over the backboard and out of play. But with that horn, that'll be the end of the first quarter here. And at the end of the first quarter, folks who are who are tuned into the live stream. It's a score of 14-12. Uh, to 12. Holy Cross Crusaders lead the Rigi Panthers uh, here in the Memorial game.
Welcome back here, folks, as we get the second quarter underway in this Memorial game. Matthew Song inbounding for Regiopolis Notre Dame. Lineups remain relatively the same for both teams, both coaches tonight. That's um, Trevor Weir for the Holy Cross Crusaders and, uh, and Adam Jeffries. And coach for the Regiopolis Panthers, Vince Legault and Mary Besslink. Um, both opting to play more or less the same same group to start the second quarter. And first onto the board here in the second quarter. That's number 35, Rex Dawson. Rex Dawson finishing a layup for the Holy Cross Crusaders. Kiagi working the ball over to, to Song. Song to Barry. Barry back to Kiagi. And here's Song with it for Rigi. He brings the ball back up to the top of the key. Song picks up his dribble and Quinn Saganowicz steps right into his face playing some good pressure defense, forcing a turnover. Quinn Saganowicz in the corner and that'll be his first three pointer of the night. Quinn Saganowicz extending the Holy Cross lead to seven points here. Line up on the floor for the Panthers. That's Song inside to number two, Barry. Lamb sitting out on the wing. Adipapo and Kiagi. And the lineup for the Crusaders. Quinn Saganowicz. Sam Tan. Rex Dawson. Number 15, Ryan Dick. And number 14, Aiden Shelley. Rigi inbounding on the end line. Ball goes into Adipapo. Back out to Kiagi at the three-point line. Kiagi waving off Barry. He brings the ball over to the left corner. And Adipapo taking the ball strong to the net and finishes with the left hand. Rigi still opting to sit in a half-court zone trap defense. And then falling back on defense into a little bit of a 3-2. Quinn Saganowicz open in the corner as Holy Cross had pinned Lamb down low and he couldn't get out to the corner to defend. Here's Sam Tan driving to the basket. And the ball gets moved around. Moved around the wing. Here's Rex Dawson over to Sam Tan. His three is off the mark. Rigi gets a hand on it. That was number 24, Daniel Elliott, but last touch by the Crusaders out of bounds. This ball will go back to Rigi. Daniel Elliott inbounding to Kiagi. Kiagi, the floor general here for the Rigi Panthers. An errant pass stolen away by Sam Tan, and he goes coast to coast to lay that one in with the left hand, extending Holy Cross's lead. And here is Kiagi for the Panthers. Kiagi looking to the right side. Waves Elliott by, gets the ball over to Lamb. Lamb gets fouled on the wing. A little bit of a reach-in foul by Rex Dawson there as Lamb was just ah. turning the corner on him into the, uh, into the lane. Substitution coming into the game here for Holy Cross. That looks like number 12, James Ashour. Here is Elliott inbounding for Rigi. Kiyagi with the ball. He finds Sam on a little give and go. Holy Cross working the ball around. Another block. I think that's his fifth block of the game for Lag and Lamb. He is a defensive nightmare for the Holy Cross Crusaders right now. Ball gets worked over to the corner. Three-point shot for the Crusaders is up. Rex Dawson can't get it to fall. And Lamb comes away with it. Score here in the second quarter with four minutes and 31 seconds left to go. 21 to 14 for the Crusaders. Rigi working the ball well around the perimeter. Here's a drive by Elliott with a good kick. As the defense sinks in, Barry can't get that one to fall. Barry off to a very hot start here in the early going, but seemingly appearing to cool down a little bit from the three-point line. Rex Dawson in the corner. 
Sam Tan. Ashour and Ashour fouled by Riley Berry as he couldn't get his feet to slow down. And the momentum of his body carries him into Ashour. Two substitutions into the game as Elliott and Adapapo go off for the Panthers. Into the game now. That looks like number 21, Namka Latang. And checking back into the game for the Panthers, number 12, Cameron Bransfield. Holy Cross still sit. So, Regiopolis, Notre Dame still sitting in his zone. That zone collapses on number 15, Ryan Dick. <clears throat> and over the back violation called against the Crusaders. This ball to be inbounded at half court for the Panthers. Cameron Bransfield to throw it in. Panthers get the ball into the corner. Kiyagi dribbles his way out of the corner, finds... Lamb at the top of the key and Lamb slicing through the Holy Cross defense like a hot knife through butter. He finishes strong at the basket with his right hand. And here's Ashour with it for Holy Cross. Dribbling past one defender. Falls back out to Dawson. Dawson pump fake. Gets into the lane. And Dawson responds for the Crusaders with a basket of their own. Here is Kiyagi. Bransfield to Lamb. Lamb to Kiyagi. Kiyagi dropping the shoulder and putting up a shot with the right hand. Just off the mark. Sam Tan to Ashour to Dawson. Back out. Tan back to the corner. And Ryan Dick looks to go up strong and <laughs> just as you'd expect, number 11, Lagenland coming through for the Regiopolis Notre Dame Panthers with another block. I think that's his sixth of the half. Here's Rex Dawson driving right side. Defended by Bransfield and Lamb. He follows up his own shot with a rebound, and that one excites him. And here is Kiyagi with it. Bransfield. Lamb out of Apple. Working the perimeter action. Kiyagi puts up a three off the mark. And Sam Tan comes away with it. Here's Ashour. Left wing getting it into the corner to Dawson. Ryan Dick working down low. He puts up a tough shot. Well defended by Lamb. And now Lamb dribbling the other way. Looking to go coast to coast. And Lamb has that one knocked away by a Holy Cross defender at the last second. And Rigi will retain possession on the end line. And with that, folks, we will see our first time out of the game. As the boys on both sides look to be tiring out a little bit. Coaches Trevor Weir and Adam Jeffrey for the Crusaders. And Vince Legault and Mary Besseling for the Panthers. Looking to talk things over with their teams. Score currently sits at 25-16. to 16. The Holy Cross Crusaders lead, leading the Rigi Panthers with a minute and 31 seconds still to go here in the second quarter. And Coach Trevor Weir, you have to imagine, would be pretty happy with the way his team is playing right now. Both teams really putting in a tremendous effort on defense so far on this one. Rigi opting for a half-court zone trap defense uh, and then falling back into a 3-2 zone. And Holy Cross opting to play a little bit of a full-court defense. Um, both teams applying really good pressure defense. It'll be interesting to see if both teams can maintain this sort of intensity and pressure. Game for the Crusaders. Looks like number... Oh! 
And here's Rigi underneath the basket with a quick inbound play. That's number 11, Lagan Lamb, finishing again for the, for the Panthers. Here's Emilia and Joachim with it now for the Crusaders. Over to number three, Benjamin Contois. Oh, that was number nine, Benjamin Contois. Ashour and Lockhart close in on defense. Ben Contois. And that one last touch by number 21, Namka Latang for Rigi out of bounds with 26 seconds left on the shot clock here. Holy Cross sideline inbound right directly in front of their bench. Emilian Yokum looking to get the ball in, but he struggles there. Throws the ball away over to Lamb. And Lamb and number three, Casey Lockhart, lock up. And that's a jump ball. Looks like the ball will remain with the Crusaders. And there is one second left on the shot clock here with 55.6 seconds to go in the second quarter. And Mirian Yoakum throws that one in low. And we have a shot clock violation against the Crusaders. And with that, the Regiopolis Notre Dame Panthers will take a timeout. Coach Vince Legault wanting to talk something over with the team and possibly even draw up a play here to make the most of this possession with 53 seconds left to go here in the first half. And both teams walking back out onto the court here. This will be a Rigi inbound on the end line. Holy Cross falling back on defense now. Pick deciding to pick up at half court. Here's Barry with it for Rigi. Bit of an errant pass thrown over to Kiyagi who can't handle that one and it squirts out of his hands and out of bounds. Lockhart to inbound for the Crusaders. Yokum at the point guard spot for the Crusaders, defended by Kiyagi. Yokum now trapped in the corner. Bransfield and Lamb playing some very tough defense. The ball goes into Lockhart. That was over to 14 Aiden Shelley. He gets the ball out to Ashauer, but Ashauer moves both his feet before getting a shot up, and he's called for a traveling violation. 25 seconds left on the game clock. The shot clock is turned off for this possession. Lamb driving left-handed. He gets by Lockhart. Goes up strong with the right hand. And he's called. He's called to the line to shoot too as he's fouled on his way to the basket. This is Lag and Lamb at the line for the Panthers. And Lag and Lamb with a sweet stroke makes good on both shots from the line for the Panthers. Narrowing the Holy Cross advantage to just seven points here. Yoakum looking for Benjamin Contois on the wing, and that one gets knocked out of bounds by a Rigi defender. 
Ten seconds left on the game clock here in the first half. Yoakum to inbound for the Crusaders. Crusading opt opting to line up in a box formation. Ball goes into Lockhart, knocked back to Joachim. Joachim gets down low for the Crusaders, tries to find Lockhart, but that one's taken away by Song. Sorry, this is Latang. Latang puts up a three, and that one falls short. Ladies and gentlemen, the score here at halftime of this memorial game between the Regiopolis Notre Dame Panthers and the Holy Cross Crusaders. Your Crusaders lead by a score of 25 to 20.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back and thank you for tuning in once again to this year's edition of the Junior Boys Memorial Game between the Regiopolis Notre Dame Panthers and the Holy Cross Crusaders. Score currently sits at 25-20 to 20 with the Holy Cross Crusaders edging the Panthers by 5 at the moment. Both teams for, both lineups for both teams walking back out onto the court. And to begin the second half here, we'll have the Panthers' Bransfield inbounding. Bransfield gets the ball into Lamb, who starts this second half of the game with six large blocks for the Panthers. Kiyagi going to work over there on the left wing. Spin move, kicks it to Bransfield, and Bransfield, with a very soft touch, gets that one up and over the Holy Cross defender. And the Panthers have closed this lead here to start the second half to just three points. Sam Tan dribbling now at the top. He gets it over to Brock Hamilton. Quinn Saganowicz back into the corner to Tan. Tan on the wing into, into Hamilton. <laughs> and Lagan Lamb on cue with a great defensive play and a steal using those long arms. Coming away with it, but he can't control it going the other way. And that one squirts out of his hands and out of bounds. And this ball will return to the Crusaders. Hamilton being trapped by the Rigi defense here in the corner. This is Landon Mackey driving baseline to Saganowicz, to McCarthy, to Hamilton. Hamilton gets inside, puts one up with the right hand. Hamilton follows his own rebound. Puts it back up, and with a sweet touch off the glass, he gets that one to fall. And here's Kiyagi with it. Over to Lamb for the Panthers. Lamb goes strong to the glass with the left hand. Here's Hamilton coming away with it. Over to Tan. Tan looks up court, looking for Saganowicz. And that one's intercepted by Adepapo for the Panthers. Kiyagi opting to slow it down, setting up the Rigi offense. They've been content in the first half to work the ball around the perimeter and then sporadically, Panthers have found someone cutting to the lane. Typically, it's been Lamb for the Panthers so far, leading the way on the score sheet. And here's Saganowicz going the other way for the Crusaders. Lead now stands at seven points for the Crusaders. Kiyagi with it for the Panthers to Barry. Barry looking for the backdoor cut to Adepapo. Adepapo, he gets the ball down low and he's immediately swarmed by three Crusaders. 
And that ball gets knocked out of bounds off the Panthers. And that was number 13, Keith McCarthy, inbounding to Sam Tan. McCarthy sits back for support to Tan. Ball goes to the corner to Hamilton. Hamilton finishing two in a row to start this second half for the Crusaders. At a Bapo baseline. Sam Tan rebounds, looks up court, finds Saganowicz. And Saganowicz getting some really great vertical there, nearly throwing that one down on the fast break. Traveling violation called against Bransfield. That was a fantastic fast break by Quinn Saganowicz. Here is McCarthy inbounding for the Crusaders. Sam Tan, the trusty point guard for the Crusaders here this evening. Back to McCarthy. And Kiyagi intercepts and gets a hand on that one for the Panthers. He comes the other way. Kiyagi looking to do it himself, driving right-handed. Blocked by Brock Hamilton. And that's McCarthy who came away with the rebound, but unfortunately a little bit eager there. Decided to travel first before putting the ball down. Ladies and gentlemen, you, you might not be able to see it on the live stream at the moment, but the fans here in the Joe Duffy Gym are filling out. As seating is limited, I see a few seats over to my left here on this side of the gym and maybe one or two over on the right side of the gym. So if you're looking to come in and catch the end of this game, now would be a great time to show up as there are only just a few seats remaining here. As I'm sure that the senior game later this evening will be a very crowded affair. Best to get into the gym early and get your seat so that you can enjoy some fantastic Kingston basketball. That shot was up by Sam Tan. Rebound to Holy Cross. That was Landon Mackey coming down with it. And he's fouled. And he'll step to the line for two shots. Holy Cross doing a terrific job on the glass this evening. Rebounding the ball. Getting some fantastic position. And it's leading to some great, great close uh, layups for the Holy Cross Crusaders here. And some fantastic opportunities from the free throw line. Landon Mackey's first shot, short, hitting the front iron. Crusaders lead here by 11 with 4 minutes, 13 seconds to go in the third quarter. And here's Mackey's second. Mackey makes good on the second. And checking into the game here for the Crusaders. Checking out will be Brock Hamilton. Checking in will be number 11, Harrison Ben as Harrison Ben enters the game for the first time here this evening. Bransfield with the ball over to Lamb. Lamb looking to dribble handoff on the wing with Kiyagi, but Harrison Ben making an immediate impact in the game, stealing that one away for the Crusaders. Here's Harrison Ben with the pump fake. He puts up a mid-range jump shot. Ball well rebounded by Quinn Saganowicz. The reverse doesn't fall for him, and here comes Rigi. Adipapo to Lamb in the corner. Lamb driving into the lane, puts up the shot. Adipapo can't come away with that one. That one's ripped out of his, his hands by Keith McCarthy. Sam Tan with it, setting up the offense. Holy Cross to Ben. Back to Tan. Tan dribbles it to the top of the wing. Back into the corner to Saganovic. And Lamb gets a hand on it. Last touched by the Panthers. Lamb able to get his hands on everything here this evening, ladies and gentlemen. He started uh, off extremely hot defensively for the Panthers with six blocks in the first half. And a steal to begin the second half. Score sits at 34 to 22 for the Crusaders with three minutes, six seconds here in the third quarter. Sam Tan with a deep three. 
And the referees say that one is good as Sam Tang got that shot off with only a couple seconds left on the shot clock. Rigi working the ball around on the perimeter. Kiyagi looking to get into the lane. Ball squirts back out to Lamb at the top of the key. Lamb looking to hand the ball off to Kiyagi. Kiyagi content to sit and have the ball handed off to him. Back into Lamb down low with a beautiful Jordan-esque turnaround jump shot. Fantastic finish by Lamb. Lamb leading Regiopolis Notre Dame scoring here this evening. Kiyagi defending at the top of the key. Tan kicks the ball over to McCarthy for an open three. And Saganovich, tenacious on the boards, comes down with one. And once again, he's fouled on the way up to the basket. He's going to head to the line for two more shots for the Crusaders here in the third quarter. Saganovich off the mark on the first shot. Saganovich splits his free throws from the line. And with that, Saganovich will take a quick breather on the bench. Called over by Coach Trevor Weir. And into the game for Saganovich will be number nine, Ben Contois. And with that, Coach Vince Legault of the Regiopolis Notre Dame Panthers decides to call a timeout, wanting to talk things over with his squad. As to start the second half here, the Holy Cross Crusaders led by head coach Trevor Weir, have ex extended their lead. The lead sat at, the, at half time uh, at just five points. The score was 25-20 to 20 for the Crusaders. With two minutes left to go here in the third quarter, Holy Cross has extended their lead to 14. Lineups with 2 minutes and 14 seconds in the third quarter. Sam Tan, Ben Contois, Harrison Ben, Landon Mackey, Keith McCarthy for the Crusaders. Number 11, Lagan Lamb. Number 5, Kian Kayigi. Number 3, TJ Mayuga. Number 2, Riley Berry. And number 21, Namka Letang. That shot up by Kiyagi for the Panthers and off the mark. Holy Cross doing a good job of defensively rebounding that ball. And Sam Tan looking very comfortable at the top of the key for the Crusaders. Over to Ben Contois. A little bit of loose, loose zone defense being played by the Panthers down here. Ball gets kicked over to Contois at the top of the key and he can't get that one to fall, but the shot looked good. And here's Kiyagi with it for the Panthers, opting not to run the court as Rigi has for the majority of this game, deciding to slowly bring the ball up and play in the half-court offense. And it pays off there as Kiyagi buries a three from downtown just in front of the Holy Cross bench. And the Panthers looking to build a little bit of momentum here. Contra in the corner with a three. Doesn't get it to fall. And Kiyagi, once again, bringing the ball up for the Panthers. He's been steady Eddie all night here. Lamb to Latang. Over to Kiyagi. Barry steps through, finds Lamb. Lamb with the skip pass. Here's Mayuga. Mayuga with the right hand. Looks like he might have been fouled there. The refs just opt not to call that one. Sam Tam, ball into the corner. Here's Harrison Ben. Holy Cross. Opting to work for a better opportunity on offense. And that one squirts through Sam Tan's hands. And Sam Tan has been a key contributor for the Crusaders here this evening. His hands might be a little bit sweaty. And that might be the reason for that ball slipping out of them. Rigi once again. Getting into the motion offense on the perimeter here. 
Mayuga looking for Kaigi. Kaigi cannot handle that one and it goes out of bounds. McCarthy inbounding to 10. 20 seconds left here in the third quarter. Shot clock is off for this possession. Latang takes it away for the Panthers. Latang looking to go it, go it himself, and he gets the basket to fall and one. Latang's going to head to the line for one more shot with what could be a critical basket for the Panthers as this third quarter has been all Holy Cross so far here this evening. Extending their lead from five to nine here in the third corner, third quarter. Latang's free throw does not fall. Six seconds left here in the quarter. Harrison Ben, back out to Sam Tan. Sam Tan with two seconds left on the shot. Th shot clock throws that up and can't get it to fall. And just when you thought the Crusaders were pulling away, Rigi decides at the last, last minute here in the uh, third quarter. Narrows the gap a little bit. And the lead stands at just nine. Holy Cross extending the lead by four points here in the third quarter. Coming in with a five-point halftime lead. Yeah. And the key to the game so far here for the Panthers has been number 11, Lagan Lamb, has led the team in not only blocks defensively, but also points on the offensive side of things. The majority of the offense seems to be running through him. And for the Holy Cross Crusaders so far... Team has played extremely well. Quinn Saganowicz leading the team in the points department. With strong contribution by Sam Tan. Though he may not be leading on the score sheet, Sam consistently bringing up the ball here for the Crusaders. Running the offense terrifically. And doing a great job of leading this Crusaders team here this evening. And Holy Cross will begin the fourth quarter with the ball. Looking to extend their lead, their nine-point lead. Gain a little bit of a cushion here as they try to close this game out. Here's Quinn Saganowicz, back to Tan. This is number 30. That's Landon Mackey with a strong turnaround jumper. Well defended by Rigi, but Landon Mackey finishes anyways. Here is Lagan Lamb. Matthew Song. Letang. Back to Lamb. Lamb driving left side. Lamb doing a fantastic job. As soon as he gets into the key, he goes up, uses all of his length, height, and vertical, getting above the Holy Cross defense. Unfortunately, he just couldn't finish that one there. And he'll step to the line for two shots for the Panthers. Lamb hits his first. Not often that you see a, an interior player like Lamb, or, or, or a player with as much height as Lamb, but also with such a sweet stroke. Lamb shooting a terrific percentage from the line tonight. Hits both free throws. And the lead remains nine for the Crusaders. Lamb gets his hand on that one, deflecting the pass. As the Crusaders were looking to go inside to Mackey. Saganowicz to inbound on the end line for the Crusaders. Sam Tan to the wing. Double screen set for him. Saganowicz finds him. Tan looking back inside to Mackey. Unfortunately, Mackey can't handle that one. And the referees say last hit Mackey out of bounds. And we're getting a very light man-to-man -man full court press by 
Saganovic. And that forces number three, TJ Mayuga, to throw the ball away for the Panthers. Holy Cross, 30 seconds on the shot clock, inbounding from the sideline. Ooh, and a little bit eager by Mackey on that one. Well drawn up play, but the execution a little bit off as Mackey handed the ball back off to Sam Tan, coming into the field of play from out of bounds, and Sam Tan still had a, a foot on the out of bounds line. Oh, beautiful, beautiful move by Lamb there, but ball squirts away. Latang takes the ball away from the Crusaders. Here's Mayuga, seeing what he can do now for the Panthers to close this nine point lead for the Crusaders. That's Miles Canarudi with the errant pass, and Quinn Saganovic looking to go up strong. It looks like Quinn's about a, a millimeter away from throwing that one down with authority. Here is Lamb. Back to Mayuga. Mayuga falling down, gets a pass over to Canarudi, and. And the call is out of bounds off the Panthers. We have some wholesale substitutions coming into the game now for the Panthers. Checking back in, we have number five, Kaigi, number 12, Bransfield, number 10, Adapapo, and number two, Barry. It's the majority of the original starting lineup for the Panthers back on the floor now. Correction, this is all the starting lineup for the Panthers back on the floor now. Saganowicz over to McCarthy for the Crusaders. Tan. Underneath the basket now, a little bit of a struggle ensues. That's number 14, Aiden Shelley. He had two opportunities at the basket there, and he couldn't get either one to fall. But he's fouled on the final attempt, and he'll head to the line for two shots. Here's Shelley at the line. His shot's up. And he buries that one. Holy Cross with 5 minutes 40 seconds here in this final quarter of play. Extending their lead from the third quarter. From 9, now up to 13. Lamb looking to drive right. Tries to find Kaigi in the corner. And a number of Holy Cross players get their hands on that one, deflecting the ball out of bounds. Bransfield to inbound on the end line for the Panthers. Box formation for the Panthers. Bransfield pivoting on the end line. Lucky he didn't get called for a traveling violation, even though he is out of bounds. Lamb back to Barry. Lamb on the perimeter. He looks at... Looks at a shot, eyes that one up, and it's off the mark. Sam Tan to Quinn Saganovich. Into the corner now to McCarthy. This is Shelley down low, and he finishes with the right hand. A beautiful pass from McCarthy on that inbound entry into Shelley there. And Shelley gives him props there, pointing at, the, pointing at him at the other end, thanking him for that pass. Bransfield out of Papo. Back to Lamb. Into the corner to Kaigi. McCarthy coming away with that rebound. Sam Tan. McCarthy back to Tan. Over to Saganovich. Skip pass to Tan. Into Mackey. Some beautiful ball movement here from the Crusaders. Down to Shelley in the post. Out to McCarthy. Here's Mackey with his third touch of the possession. Well rebounded by Shelley. Back out to Quinn Saganowicz for three off the front iron. Legs might be getting a little bit tired here in the fourth quarter. A terrific game being played by both teams here. Both teams came out with some, some fierce and ferocious defense to start the game. 
as a little bit of fatigue sets in though you start to see some mistakes like that happening in the game and that's number 11 for the Panthers being called for a travel that's lag and lamb and things like that do happen as the game wears on and fatigue sets in and these boys are out here giving their all here tonight McCarthy inbound to Tan Tan walking the ball up the court here Holy Cross overloading against this Regiopolis Notre Dame zone defense Hamilton with it on the wing driving left handed gets a shot up a tough shot Regi comes away with it and here is Kaigi. Kaigi and the Rigi offense in no apparent rush with 3 minutes and 31 seconds here in the fourth quarter. Trailing by 15. Panthers called for carrying violation. Tan finds Mackey over to Hamilton. This ball movement by the Crusaders has been fantastic. Really forcing the Rigi defense to work hard and move their feet. And Here's Kaigi. Here's Latang. Adepapo. Kaigi. Barry with it. Looking to drive left-handed. He's fouled. Some tough defense being played by the Crusaders here. Even, even late into the fourth quarter with a substantial lead here in this game. And we have a timeout being called here. Looks to have been called by the Panthers. Head coach Vince Legault and assistant coach Mary Bessling. Looking to find a way with three minutes and one second left in this game to, uh, to draw something up on offense and see if they can get something going and, and turn the tides here as it looks like the Panthers are going to be running out of time here if they, if they can't manage to... Um, to spark the offense here this evening. Coach Trevor Weir opting to stick with a few of his steady eddies here tonight. Starting point guard Sam Tan on the court. Starting guard Quinn Saganowicz is out there. And just as I say that, Coach Weir opting to give Quinn Saganowicz a little bit of a rest, substituting him out of the game. Along with Mackey and Tan, that's Hamilton, McCarthy, and number 35 Rex Dawson on the court. On the court for the Panthers, number 21, Latang, number 2, Barry, number 11, Lamb, number 10, Adepapo, and number 5, Kaigi. The ball goes into Lamb. He's been Rigi's best player here this evening. He finds Kaigi. Lamb gets a three-pointer up, arcing that one a little bit off to the left with that beautiful high finish in his shot. And here is Tan for the Crusaders. Over to Hamilton. Holy Cross. Opting to work the ball late into the shot clock on these final few possessions. Content to work the ball and look for a really good quality shot. The ball goes into Mackey who's been great down low offensively. A little spin move and a soft finish from Mackey. Extending Holy Cross's lead to 17 points here. Adabapo with it for the Panthers. Perimeter action for the Panthers on offense. Kaigi driving inside. Kicks it out to Barry. Barry with the pump fake. He goes left. And Hamilton gets a couple hands on that one. We'll see what the call is here from the referees. As it looked like Hamilton might have gotten all ball. And looks like the call is a blocking foul. That'll send Barry to the line for two shots. A couple substitutions into the game here for the Panthers. That's going to be number four, Anthony Kyle Magtabe. Coming into the game. And number 15, Reed Evans. And it looks like there is one more Rigi player waiting to substitute into the game. And that'll be for the shooter, Riley Berry. If he hits this, he will sub out. 
Sorry, if he hits this second shot, he will sub out. Very good on the first, but off on the second. But Adabapo comes down with the rebound, fighting hard still. The Panthers are not giving up in this one. The lead for the Crusaders sits at 16 with a minute and 54 in the game. Here is a million, Joachim. He gets that over to Dawson, and Dawson looks to find number 12, James Ashour, but a bit of an errant pass there. Throws it <clears throat> just in front of the outstretched, outstretched hands of Ashour. That's a difficult one to say. Outstretched hands of Ash Hour. Say that one five times fast, folks. Here is Mayuga for the Panthers. On the wing now, number 24, Dan Elliott. Dan Elliott up top to Reed Evans. Reed Evans gets it over to the wing. Matthew Song. Song gets it into the corner. Dan Elliott, Dan Elliott back down to Song. Song, ball squirts away from him, but last touch by the Crusaders. Looks like that one just hit number three, Casey Lockhart in the ankle as he was standing out of bounds. And folks, with a minute and 22 left here in the game, for those who may have joined us a little bit later on, this is the Memorial Game, an annual event between the Regiopolis Notre Dame Panthers and the Holy Cross Crusaders. Uh, the event was started 35 years ago. The memorial, the memorial game was established by Paul Halligan, who was at the time a football and basketball coach at Rigi. Paul created the memorial for the two schools, Holy Cross and Rigi, to come together in competition while raising money and awareness for cancer research. Paul founded the games in honor of his friend Peter Carty, who was a friend and classmate and who had passed away from a rare form of cancer at the age of 23. Thirteen years later, Paul Halligan was taken by that same cancer that took his friend years prior. Both men dedicated time to help out within the school communities, and the memorial is a tribute to both of them. Thank you so much for attending and supporting our live stream, as well as supporting the fight against cancer. To date, and this is the most amazing aspect of this evening's event, which is that over $410,000 has been donated and raised to support research and treatment of those with a devastating disease. And for those who are tuning into the live stream, there is uh, a myriad of events here happening. At halftime, there were a number of events happening for, for any of the younger folks in the, in the audience who wanted to participate. As well, there, there, was, a, uh, there was a silent auction and, uh, and a raffle. And for anybody who is interested in, in contributing to uh, a silent auction item, this event will be happening again next year or a raffle item. And feel free to reach out to um, administration at either school, Rigi or Holy Cross, or the head basketball coaches um, to consider making a donation for next year's event. All the proceeds do go to research and the fight against cancer. And down on the end line will be the Crusaders inbound. That's Emilian Joachim. He gets that ball into Rex Dawson. He immediately dribbles back into the corner to Joachim. Joachim gets it down low, and that's Lockhart. Lock oh, correction. That's Brock Oliver. Some great effort by Brock there. And he's fouled on that shot attempt. He'll head to the line for two shots. 45 seconds left to go in this one, folks. Holy Cross leading by 16 points. Halftime lead of just five for Holy Cross. Trevor Weir's squad really putting in a great effort here in the second half to extend that lead to 17 points now after that shot by Brock. Here is Mayuga. Mayuga picking up his dribble at the top of the key. He looks to find number four, Anthony Kyle Mactic Bay, and unfortunately he's called for a carrying violation. Holy Cross with possession here, 34.8 seconds remaining in the game. Oh, 
Holy Cross finding Amelia and Joachim in the corner. Pump fakes. Decides to take a shot from the short corner. Rigi with the rebound. Maktigbe with the rebound. He finds Mayuga. Mayuga bringing the ball across the half-court line with what could be the final possession of the game. A three-point shot is up by Daniel Elliott, and that one gets the entire Rigi bench out of their seats and excited. And here is Amelia and Joachim. Three seconds left here in this one, and both teams are content with the result. And ladies and gentlemen, I just want to take an this opportunity to thank you all for tuning into the live stream uh, stay tuned for those who are interested and have the time later this evening the senior boys will be playing both teams again will be the Regiopolis Notre Dame Panthers and the Holy Cross Crusaders so stay tuned for that one beginning at 7 o'clock once again thank you for tuning in we do appreciate your support Can't hear anything in it right now. Yeah.